G'day everyone, so what brought this video on was that I have some beautiful burls in my possession. Instead of turning a beautiful piece of burl and then not liking the shape or the design that I decide to make, I picked out a piece of camp floral for a change and uh, this piece was cut on the 19th of the 6th, 2022. So it's well and truly nice and dry now. And I put a square on it, made it square on, and then just rough cut it on the bandsaw. So I know it's not gonna be absolutely perfect, but instead of me being the judge, I thought I would let you guys be the judge. If you do like the shape in the end, I want you to put a T symbol or say it's your cup of tea. So it's either not your cup of tea or your cup of tea. So that's what we're gonna go with. Go with. So I'm just gonna give this uh, wood screw a go here. When we uh, put it on, make sure I've put that wood screw in the center there. Well, I drilled the hole in the center. So I'm gonna flatten off the base as we normally do. And I hope everyone's been well. I appreciate everyone reaching out to me as well about uh, last week's video when I asked people to email me about uh, timber and I have been inundated with emails and I appreciate it and I will I will get back to you so I just wanted to floor oh, quarter sawn a little bit of quarter sawn look at that this is going to be it's actually going to be quite nice so what I wanted to what I wanted to do it's 150 mil in diameter so 150 mil square so a third of that is 50 mil, so 150 by three will be the foot, but I don't have a chuck that is a 50 mil foot. So I've just already set these dividers to my shark jaws. You would have seen me use them before, this set here. So I'll just, I'll just keep it at that, but ideally I'd like, I'd like it to be one third of the overall diameter. But what I've come to this point here is I want the underside to, to look like a bowl <clears throat> and the top side to be sort of flat. So I'm just gonna pick a, a mark here somewhere where I think, and this will all make sense in a sec. See that looks, that looks a little bit too small. So, so I, might, I might come in, this will all make sense soon, trust me. So that's 10 mil there. But I want to leave a bit of I want to leave a bit of timber so you can, when you look underneath you can see the square, but you can also see the shape of the bowl if if that's making sense. Dan's just going to mark it up for us here. Hit it reverse quickly. So that's our mark there that we will that we will go to. 65 sorry 70 mil thick, so 70 mil thick. Uh, so I'm just going to go say let's just go oh, 20 mil. 20 mil down now the top isn't the top's not square so I'm trying to do like you know you see those plaster plasterboard fellas that's not going to be square so I'll just make a little mark there I know I'm not going to probably be able to see that and sanding these can be a little bit of a challenge as well so I'm going to bring up the speed now and that was our mark there so I'm just going to lightly Remove that material out and push up as well at the same time. See how that's looking? Nice, nice, nice. So I'm going to start coming up a little bit more vertically there because otherwise I will lose my uh, square, my squareness. Square. <laughs> Is squareness even a word? I don't know. Someone, someone out there will know. Someone will always know the answer. And as the famous John Jordan would say, we appreciate you. So a little bit more, just doing a pull cut. And the most important thing is to make sure it looks, it looks round. You know what I mean? It looks like a bowl underneath. 
because the first thing we do as wood turners, <clears throat> anyone that has turned timber before, is we turn it un uh, underneath and we see what it looks like. You see what I mean now? See, I'm getting that shape now of the square bowl, of the square with the bowl in it. That's what I'm after. GL5, come around the back here a bit more. Now let's see how that looks. That should have cleaned that cut up really nicely. Now, I want to go, I want to go higher up a bit. Let's do that. Let's go higher up. And then just lightly, lightly pick that away. A bit more. Need a smaller tool to get right up into that little point up in there. Oh, that's nice. S side wing coming across. When you are coming into this space here, so just get something that's contrasting. So, um, so when you're looking down, you can, you can see the white paper or something like that thing. Just so that's with it there. So when you're looking down, you can see the outline there and I'll take it away. And now it's hard to see. So put it back and you can see that outline a lot more clearly. All right, so now I'm gonna keep moving up now. Keep coming up. Just really light cuts here. Really light cuts. I was getting a little bit close with the side of my palm to that, to that edge there. So now I'm gonna come back this way. So I'm gonna find that. And this is where that paper really helps. I'm gonna cut back towards you there. Watching my pinky. <laughs> Beautiful. Now I'm going to come up and clean that up there. Still want it to look like a bowl. Beautiful. Now that looks, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that there. It's a shame to put a bloody tenant on this, but and I've got, oh, I've got a big banger. Look at the side. I can't do that. I can't. That's too big. Let's have a think about this. Let's have a think. Now, I can't have a tenon that big because that's going to just kill this piece. So let's go. The other set of, set of jaws I've got are these ones. I've just been using these for that project, but they create, you know, they create tenons, tenons that big. Well, that fits into those jaws, so it's going to be quite small. And for something so, oh, it's a bigger piece. Ah, oh, darn it! Let's go. Let's add a bit of excitement into our days, shall we? So, get the dividers here, set them right, and then just make sure everything looks really Mickey Mouse. Drop that down. Come across the back there. Now I've just got to press in. Shape that around. Get our GL5, maybe a bit more in there actually. Bit more. Get 
come around here. Get our clearance. Roll it down. A little bit of housekeeping there, a little bit of cleaning. Now, I'm going to make... I need to put something there. It's, it's too plain to just... Even though that timber is, just speaks for itself, it, you know, to add, it, to, add, to add something to that would just be, I think, a little bit too much. But let's, uh, that's feeling nice, that shape there. I want to add a little bit of detail in there, so we'll get our detail gouge. We'll see what we can do here. Maybe, uh, maybe a cut, a cut back, and then a cut back this way or something. But I don't want to undermine that tenon as well. Maybe something like that. Clean that up there. And now I want to use the same tool, come out the side here, and just do a little, so we can really clearly identify where that bowl finishes there. And this is sharpened to 35 degrees. This little guy. Yeah, that looks. So when you're looking, when you're looking at it that way, which I'll show you at the end, what it looks like underneath, it just looks, it just looks round, and then it goes square. That's, that's what I'm really after for the for the end result, because to have it any other way, I, I don't know. I just really think it's going to look pretty cool. So I've just got, I've decanted some uh, pure tongue oil by Woodcut Tools in this container. So, and I also used some white spirits to thin it down a little bit. But have a look at this. Hopefully that camera can pick this. I'll turn this back back off. Have a look at this. This is, this is the money shot right here. Holy. How beautiful is that? Mother Nature at its best, eh? Look at that. Just, she does wonders, you know? It's just gorgeous. She never ceases to amaze me. Well, so I'm just going to let that sit on there for a little bit. We'll just get the show under the road. Get the show on the road. Just hopefully it doesn't spray up all over me here. Turn the lathe speed down, Keith. Goodness me. Just cop that everywhere. Did you, hopefully you didn't get any on you over there. Now you would have seen when I was sanding, I held the sander on a bit of an angle and just really, just kissed it really lightly and came out into that space. But in, in order to do that, you have to have the lathe speed you have to have the lathe speed up a little bit. And it is an art sanding, there is a lot to it. So um, I'll link a video at the end about sanding. I'll link two actually, so there's one about wet sanding, I'll link that one, most of you have probably seen that, the Danish oil one. And then I'll link another video of all the tools that I use, that I have for sanding as well. I'll link that on that side. Don't let me forget. Bit of paper towel, I'll just buff that in. I really, really am looking forward to seeing what you reckon at the end. 
Remember you got to write cup of tea or a cup of tea symbol. Or if you don't really like the shape or if it's, if it's a little bit artistic, because we are going quite artful here. We're getting very artsy. I want you to write uh, not my cup of tea if you don't like it, righto. Or thumbs up, thumbs down, that's easy. But the cup of tea is fun, you know. And that's what happens when you get, oh. That is, that is beautiful. So, tongue oil is the go. And I did mention it in my previous video that it was quite thick, the consistency. Look at that. So I wanna, I wanna show you actually what I, now we're getting this off. This is what I mean. So when you're looking down on it, you literally just see that, the bowl and then the wood just flaring out. You know what I mean? So it's really quite striking. You can see where I got that detail gouge. <coughs> this guy here, and I really got into that point there. You could use your skew chisel as well to get in that little junction there. But I think it's gonna come out, it's gonna come up pretty good. And I'm, uh, I'm liking it. I think it will be my uh, cup of tea. Hit that in reverse. We can get rid of these two. Now this is gonna be, this is gonna be the, uh, the test, whether, whether this is gonna hold up. I'm just gonna, I'm pretty, pretty chuffed with it so far. I am a fan. Get this guy on nice and tight because I got a I got a feeling. Now that is a that's a little tenon. Didn't I say that last week? That's a little tenon for a big bowl. <laughs> right oh. Yeah, 16 mil. Uh, 16 mil wood cut tools. Just want to keep those other ones sharp. Now, I'm just gonna clean the front of this off. Being careful when I come out into that space there. See how that looks? Yeah, nice. Okay. You know what would look pretty cool? Let, let's clean it up a bit more. That's a bit blunt. Get the old 19 mil woodcut tool out. 55 degree bevel. That's better. So what I need to do is come back that way and I'm going to use the GL5 for this. Come back. Stop. See how that looks? Oh, you know what? That looks pretty cool. That looks Looks pretty cool. I will sand that, but I'll do it by hand at the end. I'll show you how I'm going to do that. I might go even a little bit thinner that, than that, make it look a little bit more dainty, a little bit more elegant. Just a 16 mil. And then I'm just going to press this down here. Make sure I'm aware of that edge out there. Push this in here. Carry it all the way to the center. See how that looks. And that looks, that looks neat. It's not flat yet, but I'm not too concerned about that as yet. Because now I'll do a nice little cut across the face there. GL5. As I'm making this cut, I'm looking up here. I'm looking up the top there. 
the strong finger will point that out. I'm looking up here to make sure I'm, I'm cutting straight across the face. I've got the, par the tool rest also parallel. And now I'm going to, I'm going to measure in. So I've got 15 mil there. And now we go in further. So, so we're in about 18 mil there. Yeah, it's, it's off a little bit, isn't it? 18 mil there. 18 mil there. So look, I'm going to, I'm going to call it and just make it 20 mil. Even though I'd like to have it start out a little bit further to get more bowl. Just gonna eyeball that down there, make sure we're <laughs> make sure we're in the in the zone. I'm gonna sneak that line in a little bit more again because I, I don't and if you don't know what I'm up to here, what I'm doing is finding the exterior side of this. So I'm finding the furthest point and then making that on that side there. So adding it so it goes in more so I don't trim into the rim and then rip that rim off because I'm not actually cutting into the bowl. Now I'm going to test my theory. Oh, 16 mil. We'll cut bowl gouge. Just have that tool rest run in parallel. I've probably got about between the tool rest and the front of the piece probably an 8 mil gap there. Make sure we're on centre and we're not, so I'm just going to stop the lathe, raise that up a touch. Now we're good. A moment of truth. And because we've already cleaned that rim up, I don't have to go back to it now. That's done. It's just ready for sanding. Now it's all about just cutting this. I'm just going to come over the top here and oil that up, make sure I'm not... Going to cut the yeah, camera. Right. Have a look at that. Make sure I'm not going <laughs> to cut. <laughs> yeah, cool. Oh, that feels nice, eh? That feels, that feels nice. Oh, geez, that feels good. It's a little bit, it's a little bit chunky down the bottom there. Get these dividers here. Let's let's actually see what we got there. Because I know everyone likes this. Got an octopus right on. So, even though my wife thinks I am. So that is about 17 mil there. So we can take some off the guts, off the side wall. 17 mil, that's not too bad, kids. Nice trim work there. And, and what's that 13 mil there? Okay, so we've got a bit to go down in the, in the bottom there, in this section here, in through there. So well, let's do that now. I'm not gonna go overboard with it because I don't wanna, I don't wanna push the friendship with this piece. So that was about this will be good, a good test. That was about what, three mil then? Three mil. That's four. So I reckon I took about Oh, I reckon I took about five mil off. I reckon. 
<laughs> Way more. Nah. Let's see. What did I say it was before? I'll have to rewatch the video. I think I said like 17 mil or something. We're down to 11 mil. 11 mil there. Let's go here. Same again. Keza. Up in this corner here, so that's 15. So I took about 2 mil off the top there, I reckon. I think it was 17 or something up the top. So that's not too bad. I do want to get it thinner. That's, that's not thin enough. I'll just trim it up with the GL5. I know I've got a really nice, keen, sharp edge on that. It's, it's, uh... Just a light trim up through the top here. Coming down. Beautiful. See how it looks now. That that's primo. I'm going to uh, use the, the woodcut um, tools tongue oil again. Just gonna, this thing's gonna pop. Watch this. This is gonna, this is gonna sing like it's never sung before. Wow. Have a look at that. Just a stunning little bowl. Get a good coating all over that. Yeah, there was. Might put a little bit extra on the back here. Might have to go back and just lightly touch that up. I think I hit it with the calipers from before. I might have to just come back and hand sand that outer edge, right out on that outer edge, but I'll be able to get this part here. Dip in there. Oils just make things look a little bit more natural too. That nice, soft, really protective layer. What I was saying is I really want to show you how it looks when you flip them over and back and forth. They just look really cool. Square edge bowl. Oh, sorry, uh, square bowls. All right. Turn that bad boy off. Just missed a little bit here before the grand finale. That's looking beautiful. Have a look at that. It's stunning now, watch this, what I was talking about. And then you flip it like that. It's really cool when it's even hard to tell what the inside to the outside looks like. Does that make sense? I'm trying to figure out how to, it's like a mirror image, you know, when you, how cool is that? Square bowl. 
turned with traditional tools, finished in tongue oil. This will need a couple more coats. Just a cool little bowl. How about that? So what I was saying is check this video out here for the Danish oil, the wet sanding. Most of you have probably seen that and check that video out there with all those different sanding tools that I do use. Uh, I, I go through everything about sanding, but thank you all so much for watching. I'll talk to you all directly. Cheers, see you guys.